One, two, three. Capitalists provoke imperialist war. Capitalists, two assets. You're getting a little too into this. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. I'm a little worried. So Monopoly has released a feminist version where women make more money than men. Congrats to Monopoly for solving the gender pay gap. The original Monopoly had two sets of games, and the first one was based on capitalist rules, and the other one was based on anti-capitalist rules, but because capitalism destroys everything, that's the only game that we play today. So we decided to revisit some actually leftist board games to see if they can live up to the original ideals of the anti-capitalist monopoly. Class struggle is a Marxist game from 1978, and I will win. Only the workers and the capitalists can win or lose in class struggle. The minor classes can only participate in winning or losing through their alliances with with one of the major classes. Okay. Oh. Oh. What is this again? Farmer. Worker. Nice. Yay! Yay! I knew it would happen for you one day. Okay. Four, five. Six. All right, trade unions are established to defend workers' interests. Great, and I get three, three assets. assets. Oh. A chance for alliance with farmers. Well, weird, because as a capitalist, usually I hate farmers, but I happen to have been sitting here while you're stacking all that cash, so right. I think that maybe we should be in alliance. I accept. One, two, two three. Oh, no chance. Workers finally understand socialism here will be different than what exists in Russia and China. This is very relevant for our current time. Growth in church attendance, one debit. What? Wait, what do we do now? There's an election. We had all the money, so we won the first election. Now I have four free throws, because you know why? Having money makes you a good person. I think it was pretty clear from the get-go that like there are more opportunities on the board and within the cards for capitalists to um, double their earnings. There was a card that was like, you embezzled a million dollars. No one noticed or cared. I was like, yeah, totally. Last week's news cycle. Chance for an alliance with the professional class. Can I turn it down? I'm like tempted to tell the professional class to fuck off out of spite. <laughs> Competition between workers. I had the opportunity to make an alliance with um, the top hat. I turned, I turned it down, and now I regret it. Natural disaster. No. Workers won debit. You're oh, getting no. fucked here. I literally had no shot, and I realized that like halfway through. Your daughter, oh, has just eloped with the garbage collector. <laughs> Skip a turn at the dice. Class consciousness is worth double the assets you now have. Take them. I haven't even like. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Inflation. Inflation. One debit. It's for the greater good. No, it's not though. Move immediately to the next confrontation square. Wow. Oh. This is oh. 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 Dang. Oh. So the class Great. struggle, um, unbeknownst to any of us, accelerated rather quickly. We ended up on the final revolution, and because I, as a capitalist, have been like raking in dollars this whole time, right. I automatically win. Net sum, I only have one dollar in comparison to $74 here. I feel a little bit dead inside. <laughs> I wish there were another, ver like an updated version of this game mm. that had like contractors in it. You I know? feel like undergirding it all today would be just the, the threat of ecological collapse. Yeah, if it were to come back in like 2019, it would be like, oh no, you are a marginalized identity group. Move back 14 spaces. The fun part of board games is competition. There's um, nothing fun about progressive board games. No, yeah. nothing. Your son has become a follower of Reverend Moon. So what good is all your money? Oh. Your son is a Moonie. Oh, no. That would have been fun. <laughs>